At some point while you were living in Corpus Christi, Texas, did you have an opportunity to meet a person by the name of Carlos Hernandez? Yes. And can you tell me how that came about? Carlos was going to get arrested outside my house one day. And I went outside and asked the police if they can leave his bike out there until he get out of jail. I didn't know him then, but that's how we started talking. He was always bragging about things that he did, like stabbing people. And he talked about two girls that he did. One of, his, one of them was Dahlia. I don't know her last name or anything, but he was bragging about the way he stabbed her and he was gonna put an X on, or he put an X on her back and that he had Carlos killed her in front of her little girl. And he thought about doing the little girl too, but he didn't. And he, Carlos was so uh, bragging about the other one that he did at the gas station because somebody else was arrested. He would call him his tocayo. And he would laugh about it because he got away with it and somebody was paying for something that he didn't do. And then later on, after I met him for a while, he stabbed me too. And I never think it was gonna happen to me. The day that he stabbed me, I was getting off of work. And when I drove up on my driveway, he, Carlos got out of the, from the back and he just went up to me and put a knife on my neck. And I didn't do nothing. I just let him do whatever because I didn't want to get hurt. He had it right there. I guess he got it out again and he uh, stabbed me with it. I took the knife from him and cut my fingers. And then my little boy came out and he, stopped Carl uh, he started kidding Carlos on the back with a, with a stick. And he started running away. Carlos ran. It's big, you wanna see? That's what he did to me. I had to move out of town because he wouldn't leave me alone. Every time he would see me, he will say that I didn't get rid of you the last time, but next time I'm gonna make sure you die. And, you know, I was like, I still get like nightmares. I don't feel sorry for him. I'm glad he's dead. He won't hurt nobody else anymore. what I think about him. They would have asked me this years and years ago, maybe I could have saved Carlos de Lunas, because he was innocent.